The Adventures of Radioactive Men, Vision and Fusion. Hi, I'm Travis. And I'm JC. We're here to talk to you today about fusion and... Uh, this guy. Fission. Whatever, JC. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, do you know what fusion is? Yes, I do, madam. In fact, the process of combining nucleus to produ produce a nucleus of greater mass. We're not all chemists here, Travis. Or, simply, is the fusion of two or more smaller atoms to a bigger one. Do we have any examples? Actually, yes, I do. Ah! Hey, weren't those your cue cards? Yeah. Hi yeah. there. So... More about this fusion. It's one of those things that only happens in really hot places, like stars. For instance, the sun. It's the only place where it ever gets hot enough to make the two atoms just move fast enough to smash into each other. And in some rare cases, not really rare, but some cases of mass devastation, it can happen on Earth as, yeah, let me just show you. We got a video prepared. Oh, what a beautiful day it is outside today. today. <laughs> I hope you didn't park out there today. Travis, what, what are you doing? I'm trying to see fusion on your sun. See anything yet? No, not really. You do realize you're staring at a painting of Work, right? It is? A little bit. Oh, dang. Yeah. Get my hopes up, man. Sorry. Well, what about fission? You know anything about fission? I do. Go get the cue cards. All right. Fission, the splitting of a large atom into two or more smaller ones. Although not as powerful as fusion, still pretty devastating. Saturn news. <laughs> Good friend Adam McDonald's. No more. <laughs> Anywho, <sighs> gotta learn to forget about things. Live on. So, back to fission and fusion. Unlike fusion, fission does not happen in nature. Fusion can happen in very hot, crappy places like the sun, but fission is man made. And although not as powerful as fusion, still pretty devastating, as you've seen with poor Adam. Cut. That's all we have for you today. We'll see you next time on The Adventures of Radioactive Men.